This is a Scara type robot that I picked up uh, at an uh, equipment auction a few years ago. Uh, very cheap, all the electronics were missing, and I thought it would be a fun retrofit project. It's, a, it's actually an IBM 7575. I think it was built back in the 80s, and it really has some uh, nice mechanicals to it. Uh, <clears throat> so I did the, the conversion, and I got it to the point that the, I could control the individual joints. Then I started having problems when I would try to co uh, control it in uh, uh, like world coordinate mode, uh, and I'd get following errors on the the uh, on one of the joints. And uh, from time to time, I would post up online and try to get help, and, and either not get a reply at all, or um, you know, I just either wasn't finding people who were working on robots like this, or this one was somehow different. And it was really frustrating. It kind of went on for a, a couple of years, and this is just a for fun project, so it wasn't a priority for me. Um, like other SCARA robots, it's got a, the, the pedestal has a motor that controls the rotation of this arm, and a second motor that controls this arm here, so it can hit any part of this uh, work envelope. There's a third motor that raises and lowers the actuator along the z-axis. And one more that controls this, the orientation of the actuator here. I've got a pencil clamped in that shows, so this is pointed right along what I've got identified as the x-axis. And it's straight, and I want to show you what happens with this particular robot. <clears throat> I'm in uh, uh, axis, actually running machine kit, and, uh, and I'm in the joint mode, and I'm going to just slowly jog the uh, the zero, which is the um, the uh, arm closest to the pedestal, and you can see that it it works quite well. But if you take a look at that at the way that the pencil's oriented, you notice something interesting, and in that while I rotate the arm around you know 45 degrees or so, the pencil's orientation in the global coordinate space is unchanged. It still points right straight along the x-axis. If I switch and jog the, the, uh, the middle arm, the same thing happens. That pencil doesn't move. And if I turn this off so I'm not doing any control with machine kit at all, and I just move it by hand, you see the same thing. And what I've found to be happening here is that the motor that controls this isn't in this part of the arm. The motor itself doesn't rotate when these arms rotate. It, the motor's way back here in the pedestal, and it's connected through this linkage of belts. And it's set up in such a way that when any of the other arms move, this arrangement of belts mechanically cancels out this rotation. Well, I think that, the, that a typical SCAR robot doesn't work like that. And I think that the kinematics that are set up in like SCARAKINs for Linux CNC and Machine Kit assume that that uh, rotation would have to be canceled out uh, by, by moving the, the, uh, the, the C axis, the one that rotates around Z, you'd have to move it to counteract the action that you're adding in by moving the other arms. So when I would use uh, Machine Kit, what would happen is it would try to, to do that. It would try to rotate the C axis the other way, but then it would be going against those belts, which are holding position, and, and then I'd get following errors out of it. So what I ended up doing was modifying the Scarakins file and taking out that part of the calculation that, uh, that affects the C rotation. And that seemed to have solved the problem. Uh, now, if I switch into world mode, so I'm no longer jogging the individual joints, I'm jogging in the XYZ coordinate space, I can now move X. I can even go a little faster than that. And it works the way that it's supposed to. And the pencil still maintains its orientation correctly. But if I jog the C uh, 
axis, the rotation around Z, it works as well. And that seems to have solved my problem. So finally, this big dumb robot is uh, in a position where I can uh, do something interesting with it. And I have absolutely no idea what that was. Anyway, that was a, probably a two year journey to get to that point. And, uh, but now he's finally working. That was easy.